And uh, speaking of safety in football terms, is that a segue? Absolutely. Here? First two points in the <laughs> Super Bowl. All right. Okay. I made an. Uh, I didn't even mean to. The Super Bowl <laughs> is widely known as the biggest sporting event, of course, of the year. One thing that can put the sport, however, in jeopardy could be safety concerns. So, Glenn, I want to bring you into this. Um, you played football when you were younger. Your son also plays in college. We also want to talk to Lee Hansen. He's owner and founder of Guardian Caps. It makes a one-size-fits-all soft-shell cover that goes over helmets. It claims to reduce impacts to the head by up to 33%. Um, Lee, I actually want to start with you here. Um, can you just describe to us a little bit about how the product works and what kind of adoption you've seen? Well, the, the product is very simple. It's all about physics and Young's modulus. We're a 19-year-old technology company doing things for Boeing Aerospace, uh, Lockheed Martin. We got Atlas V rocket booster materials out there. Uh, it's all about Young's modulus and de uh, decelerating uh, the hit and the impact and it's putting a soft shell on the outside of the helmet no different than on a car bumper where you put the crush zone and a plastic bumper on the outside of the car it just slows down the impact and makes it better now uh, Glenn I know that you have a son who plays football you played football in high school and for a bit in college as well would you still let your kids play football if they were at the age where they were just starting out, given all the safety concerns with the concussions in the recent years? Well, I think the concerns with safety are great, and, and everybody wants to make the sport safer. Um, I think there's tremendous advantages from playing football, from teamwork and team sports in general. So I applaud any efforts to do that. Um, I think, uh, you know, the decision to let our son play college football was really his decision, not ours. Um, but his mother would probably be very uh, thankful for, for Lee's company. And yeah, you're all talking the to two mothers here of <laughs> four young boys total. Absolutely. We're not so crazy about the prospect of, uh, I think I speak for Scarlett, about the prospect of them uh, playing football. But Lee, it's interesting here because a lot of attention has been paid to the NFL's receptiveness or lack thereof in terms of changing things. And I know you have encountered that as well. Uh, there's a national organization that sort of offers standardized and approval of uh, equipment like yours and they haven't yet offered that approval I mean what does that sort of say about the system here that it that it's difficult to get that done well it's very frustrating on our end it, it's been a scientific company we've done all the biomechanical testing we've proven on the field anecdotally that it works for the last three years 21,000 kids are wearing this and the results are just amazing what they're coming back and telling us. We were just at the AFCA coaches conference last week and Clemson University and uh, South Carolina were all coming up to us and saying we loved it. We appreciate what you've done for our players. It's working. And it's frustrating on our standpoint where it appears it's more about money than about safety. More about money than about safety. Glenn, what about the companies that you invest in? You look at disruptive technology and how they can uh, help connect consumers with the stats available out there. Uh, Lee's helmet reduces the impact, but is there anything on the horizon where you can start measuring the impact and start looking at it from a more uh, technological point of view? Well, I think uh, there's a number of companies working on the technology. I think Lee's company, which is great, reduces the risk. And then you, there's still a risk that's an impact sport. Sure. And so from that perspective, you want to, when someone takes a hard hit, you'd like to understand how hard that hit was, what the impact was, and whether you have to sit that player for a period of time or for the rest of the game. Right now, it's just, it's simply how, you know, asking how you feel, and it's an assessment that's very subjective. Lee, I want to get your thoughts. Um, do you need the blessings of a professional league like the NHL or the NFL for your product to really take off? No, not really. Uh, basically, what we need is for the helmet companies to step back and say, we're all about wanting to make it better for the kids and allowing us to be permitted to be used on their helmets. Right now, they put peony hat caps, these just colored caps on top of the helmets. This is no different than a peony cap. It's just got padding on it. Mm. In, in every test that we've done in biomechanical, even the Noxy laboratories up in Tennessee, they've tested it on helmets, and we've passed and improved the severity index on right. all helmets that we've tested it on. So right. we, just need, we just need the helmet companies to say, we permit it to be used on our helmets. 
All right, gotcha. Thank you so much, Lee Hansen, owner and founder of Guardian Caps. It's certainly a topic that will not go away, especially after uh, Wes, and I was writing down his name, but I don't know, uh, Wes Welker suffered a concussion after last night's game. He was a Denver Well, Broncos. and there have been a number of, of suicides in the last several years of older players who had years of, of cumulative damage uh, as a result of concussions. Well, Glenn is going to be sticking around with us, and we'll be back in just two minutes on Street Smart.